Let's speak to somebody who was actually at the launch this morning, the co-host of the News Agents and LBC presenter, Lewis Goodall. Lewis, I saw you having a wonderful dust-up with Jacob Rees-Mogg, but I also saw you conversing with Nigel Farage, and I think that conversation was particularly interesting. How does it feel? to be once again at the centre of conservative politics. They're all running away <laughs> from you again, aren't they? Oh, this is not conservative politics. This is 10 members of parliament, roughly, uh, with an agenda that, yeah, I mean, actually... Would you like this? Would it, would it, like would it, this? Might just, just, but just say vote reform. These people are isolated. Liz Truss, Jacob Rees-Mogg are a tiny minority within the parliamentary party. The gap between the parliamentary conservative party and conservative voters, I've never seen it wider in my lifetime. Would you, um, I mean there's all been this talk about you rejoining the party. Would you, it ever happen? You would must you be joking. It, it would never happen. Not before the election. After the election, would you consider I, it after I'm, the election? I, well, I, I, it's not top of my bucket list. No. I'd like to see the conservative party replaced. Replaced entirely well, by... Replacing. One of those once every hundred year events. Yeah. And are you going to stand at the election? I haven't decided. No, I mean, look, Labour are going to win the election. The question is what comes after the election. And, and, and ultimately, reform and some of these people in this room all need to be on the same side. You um, railed against Davos now. How much money did you make in the city? That rather is I've irrelevant. Never, oh, that's such a childish question. Well, it's not, it's I've never childish. had anything to do with Davos. And I know that you've become a very left-wing broadcaster. What will success for this project look like, Mr. Reese? Well, what we're doing is talking about the ideas that conservatism needs. So it's a question of whether people find these ideas resonate with them. That will be a success. Is it not rather pathetic for members of a party, senior members of a party like yourself, who've been in government for 14 years, to rail against the system? If you don't mind my saying so, you sound rather left-wing. You sound rather like a sort of right-wing right. Benite, constantly saying, you know, power is the problem, institutions are the problem, they have to be changed. No, I think you've got it fundamentally wrong that we had no ability to change the system until we'd left the European Union and we then had Covid and all parties at all times need to be thinking about the structures of government, how things work, how they operate because the way to get things done is through the structures of government and sometimes they need changing and they were changed very effectively by Tony Blair. So you didn't have power to change the schooling system? We, we did change the schooling oh, system as Liz Truss said, perhaps you should have listened to her speech. I did listen to it. And she she said about, one of the things she, we did successfully was and, in education. And yet she talked about wokeism in schools. If there's wokeism in schools your government could remove it at a stroke. Surely. Not at a stroke. No, you need to legislate and new guidelines have been issued. Say so these things are moving in the right direction. So the but things, well, we need to move further and faster. This is the whole life and blood politics. You um, railed against Davos now. How much money did you make in the city? That rather is I've irrelevant. Never, oh, that's such a childish question. Well, it's not, it's I've never childish. had anything to do with Davos, and I know that you've become a very left-wing broadcaster, but asking sure. me lefty questions doesn't really get us anywhere. It's not a matter of left or right. It's it a matter is. of probing your position, I've Mr. I've never had Reesmark. anything to do with Davos. Uh, no, 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 but, Davos, but Davos, Davos, I would imagine what you're suggesting by talking about Davos is a if sense of a man... of internationalism, yes. I'm in favour of the nation-state, which was clear yes. from my speech, if you've listened. I listened to every word you said, but I, it still seemed to me I listened extremely carefully, but it's possible and entirely appropriate that we try and probe We're some of the intellectual positions. Good, good. I mean, it's not but one of the problems. you seem to be re representing the left wing. Are you doing your bit of due impartiality you, that Ofcom requires Mr. you? Or are Mr. you right here as a left-wing broadcaster? Mr. Rees Mogg, I know I'm that you're very rather... interested in this because this Mark. comes up with GB News, which I broadcast. <laughs> which, on. of course, is completely impartial. Mr. Rees Mogg. It meets the requirements of due impartiality. And well, I'm not according you to you Ofcom. Do. Mr. Rees Mogg, I, I know I'm that you want to go on the you, attack rather than talking about do, the do issue. Do you meet the requirements of if due you impartiality? Would allow to, absolutely. And do unlike, do you? unlike GB News, of so, course, so which is repeatedly. I'm strong left wing view. I'm not putting a strong left wing view of anything. I'm simply trying to ask you and interrogate you about something. No, not at all. Well, according I, to I've your own people summary, waiting, so do, one more do question. Get Is the not point. one of the problems? Well, I would do if you allow me to actually for, ask now a you're question. Again. Please get the point. Honestly, honestly, honestly. Is not one of the problems that conservatives such as yourself have started to go down a track where you're not willing to accept trade offs? Yes, we could pull out of all of these institutions and organisations, but ultimately there will be costs in so doing, just as there was with Brexit, and sometimes you start to talk about a world as you would like it to be, rather than the world as it is, which is exactly the sort of thing that Conservatives used to be very good at addressing. No, the Conservative Party has always been a practical party, and there are always trade-offs with doing one thing or another. But parties have to talk about ideas, otherwise they get nowhere. You seem to wish to live in an ideas-free zone. It's quite an extraordinary. Zone, not That's at what all. you I'm seem to be to arguing for. Anyway, you said that was the last question. Indeed. Thank you, so Thank you Mr. Eastman. As you know, uh, Nigel Farage is something of the sort of pied piper of, of modern conservative politics. 
because in so many different ways, he has all of the different factions, the families, whatever you want to call them, you outlined some of them, dancing to his tune, afraid of him. And what I thought was particularly interesting about it, actually, is that Farage, whatever you think about him, is a deeply astute observer of the political scene. And I think he identified what was so odd or perhaps eccentric about that gathering today, which is, of course, it's easy to be glib and, and make fun of this idea of a popular conservatism being led by Liz Truss, who, of course, remains an unpopular figure. But actually, what was so off-centre, literally eccentric, about what they were saying is that their ideas that they were extolling and talking about were either actually not very popular with the British public, i.e. cutting public spending, when all of the polls suggest actually the public right or wrongly want more public spending but also mm. to be honest their program is quite off center quite eccentric talking about restoring the kind of pre-blair constitutional settlement talking about seeing as you say conspiracy behind bodies as seemingly mundane as the kind of national trust or natural england or whatever it happens to be and farage said to me i think rightly saying well you know this might be conservative but it's not certainly not very popular or indeed populist and identified the fact that if you really wanted to shake the Sunak government up, what you'd probably go after him on is precisely what he is doing and what reform is doing, which is about immigration, with, about which they barely mentioned. And so, Louis, very sort of briefly, the event itself, just your impression of it, the, the range of people there, a lot of well-known names. Lee Anderson was there. Jacob Rees-Mogg was there. But how many Tory MPs actually turned up to be spear carriers for Liz Truss this time? There weren't many. Um, uh, Brendan Clark Smith was there. Pretty Patel came along. Several who were due to come, like Simon Clark, were disinvited or chosen not to come. So there weren't many. And I think what is interesting, Andrew, about, about Truss is that obviously her premiership was a catastrophe. She is choosing to embrace her sort of pro post prime ministerial life, not by going into the shadows, but by being extremely visible. And I think she's making a bet, which I think probably will prove to be correct, which is that whether the Conservative Party likes it or not, whether the public likes it or not, I suspect Liz Truss is going to be a more influential figure in the long term over the ideological course of the Conservative Party than, say, Rishi Sunak, assuming he loses the election and presumably is not going to be mm. leader of the opposition. That Truss is setting herself up as a kind of ideological lodestar, a teacher in the Margaret Thatcher mould. My one critique of it would be to say that, unlike Margaret Thatcher, Liz Truss is not that keen, as you know, on conversing with people who disagree with her, or giving interviews to people who disagree with her. She sure ain't. Sense, she sure ain't. No, yeah. in that sense, it's a bit similar to Jeremy Corbyn yeah. or, or someone of, of that type, rather than Margaret Thatcher, who, as you know, wanted to get out there and proselytise. And win her message. Really, really interesting thought to end on there, Lewis. Thank you so much for that. Really appreciate it.